Skinny girls weak, the models don't compare Junk in the trunk looking like two pairs All I do is stay up all night Losing sleep over you, you Okay, you guys, so here is what we're going to be needing to make our bomb, super easy, authentic chopped cheeses, okay? So real quick, if you don't know what a chopped cheese is, a chopped cheese is like a New York version of a Philly cheesesteak sandwich. Instead of using shaved steak like you use in a Philly cheesesteak, you use chopped up burgers, okay? Um, you can use ground beef. I have made chopped cheeses uses ground beef, but when you're getting your sandwich from the bodega, they're in there chopping up them burgers, honey. They're not really using hamburger meat because it's hard to store. So they just, you know, um, break off a couple of burgers, make your chopped cheese. Every chopped cheese is usually like two to three burgers. Um, I'm doing two sandwiches, so to make mine meaty, I'll probably do five burgers. Okay, so if you see like a little, like a couple of gnats around, that's because y'all, I had some oranges. I just got a pack of oranges and one of them was like a little smush and we got a couple of gnats in here, okay? I'm sorry if you might see one flying around, okay? So, um, yeah. So right here, I have my burgers. I'm using 75-25, which means this has um, a little higher fat content. So I'm probably, well, I am. I'm going to have to drain some grease out of here. So just some regular burgers, your favorite kind of burgers, okay? I have some cheese right here. This is some white American Borse cheese from the deli at Publix, okay? You really want to use um, deli cheese. You know, that's what they do in the store. If you want to make it authentic, I feel like deli cheese tastes different than like um, sliced cheese in the wrapper. So, um, yeah, I got I got a bunch of cheese. I'm not going to use all this cheese, but you're going to see when I make it. And Borset is the key. If you can find Borset, get that, okay? Yellow, white American cheese, it don't matter. As a matter of fact, if you're not even down with the American cheese, you can use cheddar. Um, I know people, some people that like to put Munster on theirs, or you can use Swiss. Use whatever is your favorite cheese, okay? But mostly when you get your chopped cheese in the bodega, they use American cheese, all right? So right here I have a tomato on mine. I like um, lettuce and tomatoes, so I only have one because I'm only going to put a tomato on mine. I have a red onion. Um, a lot of times, well, it depends. In the store, they could use red onion or they could use um, a yellow onion. Today, I'm going to be using a red onion. I have some shredded iceberg lettuce right here. Okay, you can, you don't have to buy your shredded. It's just an easier thing for me. You can get your lettuce, cut it up, you know, whatever. So I got some lettuce. I have some ketchup. You gotta put some ketchup. I have some Helmets mayonnaise. You got to use Helmets mayonnaise. When you go to the deli in um, New York, they have like this big, huge vet, like industrial sized vet of Helmets mayonnaise in there, okay? Helmets mayonnaise to me is the best. I know some people in the South like Dukes or whatever, the Kraft Mayo, but Helmets, if you want a New York chopped cheese, use some Helmets, all right? I have a green bell pepper right here. I'm going to cook my onions and peppers down very well. So right here, I have my seasoning. Um, of course, you can get this. There's always going to be a link in the description box below. It's very bomb. It's super complex, and it's really good. If you don't have my seasoning, you can, of course, use some adobo with pepper. They definitely use adobo and pepper inside the bodega, okay? But my seasoning is going to make it taste all, all the better, okay? So I'm going to use that. I'm going to be using some coarse black pepper. And I'm going to be using some sazon. Um, every bodega I know that does chopped cheese, they put a pack of the sazon in the meat. I'm trying to get, a, well, I am getting away from doing the packet sazons from Goya because they have MSG. So I switched here to the Badia ones because there are no MSG. So that's what I'm going to be using. All right. Look at that. This is the Sasson Tropical. They also have a Sasson, um, a no MSG Sasson that doesn't have cilantro and stuff in it. So this right here is, um, it's like Sasson, but it also has like, I think dried cilantro 
in it. So just use, if you don't have this, you could just use a packet of sasson, okay? And then right here, I have a long Italian bread. So this right here is the only thing that I think is not like super authentic because in New York, it's all about the Pelagonia bread. But of course, I'm here in Florida. I don't have access to the Pelagonia bread or the like kind of bread that's in like the white paper wrapper in the corner stores. So we're gonna have to rock with this Walmart Italian bread. But y'all know, I'm about to make it do what it do, okay? So if you have access to the, the Pelagonia bread, I'm so jealous because that's gonna make your sandwich even better. But I'm about to, you know, hook it up with this, all right? So uh, let's get started on our chopped cheese. All right, so I got my pan heating up. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting the burgers in. All right, so we're gonna let this start to um, cook. All right, so they're starting to cook. I'm gonna go ahead and start to season them. This right here is my seasoning blend. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Wow. Next, I'm gonna hit it with some coarse black pepper. I know I love pepper. And now some sasson. So that's about um, a pack of sasson right there. All right. All right, now let's flip them. All right. All right. Now, um, it's okay to start chopping them. It's a chopped cheese, so it's what you do. You just start chopping up the burger. All right. All right, so this looks good. Now we're going to, as a matter of fact, now I'm going to drain out some of this grease, okay? Because you don't want it super greasy. All right, so I drained the grease. You want some grease, but you don't want like a whole bunch, okay? There's still some fat in the pan. All right, so since I drained the pan, I'm gonna go ahead and season again very lightly. So here's the pepper. Okay, this is the sasson. My seasoning. All right, that should be perfect right there. So now we're going to cook this down. You just want it to, like, crisp up some, all right? It smells so good. It smells like a corner store in here. Bye. So over here, I just chopped up the red onion and the green bell pepper. All right, so now I'm going to add in my onions and peppers. I wanted to get my ground beef, like, a little crispy before I add it in the onions and peppers because it's going to um, expel water. So my ground beef isn't done. There's definitely still some pink spots in here. So we're just going to cook them together. Oh, that smells so good. Wow. All right, so this is looking good. I keep cooking it down a little bit more. I like mine when the meat is like a little crispy. Okay, right here I have this pan heating up. I'm going to toast the bread some, but I'm going to use a little bit of this fat in the pan and toast the bread because they definitely toast your bread on the grill. Okay, so let me add a little bit of that. All right, so let's go ahead and put our first piece of bread in. Then we're going to toast this up. All right, so this is good. I'm going to go ahead and section this off in like two. I probably got enough to do three sandwiches, actually, but 
put it in the food. Alright? Because you don't want your skin, your sandwiches to be skimpy. Okay? Alright, so that's two. Now let's add the cheese. Alright, so now let's add the cheese. Remember, you want it to be cheesy. Okay, it's a chopped cheese. Alright, gonna let this melt. Alright, so this bread is good. Let's do the next one. Alright, so let's dress our sandwich. Okay, I have the Hellman's right here. I'm gonna go ahead and add some Hellman's on both sides. If you have mayo ketchup, you can definitely use that. Next, we're gonna add some ketchup. Both sides. And then I just like to like smear it in. Mm, this is gonna be good. Our cheese is nice and melted. We're gonna go ahead and add it to the sandwich. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's gonna taste good either way. Wow, you guys, look how good this is looking. Now we're going to add our lettuce and tomatoes. I like a lot. All right, now let's add the tomatoes right on top. Remember, it does not have to be perfect. Right. Look at that, and I was going to chop too tomatoes okay okay so the next thing i like to do is totally optional but we do salt pepper um vinegar on our sandwiches i'm not gonna put salt i'm gonna put some vinegar and pepper so right here i have like half a cap full of vinegar i'm gonna get i'm gonna go ahead and pour that over um the lettuce and tomatoes and then i'm going to finish it with a little bit of pepper Oh my gosh, y'all. Okay, you guys, so here is my chopped cheese. Oh my gosh, does that not look so good? And of course, you gotta have an Arizona to drink with it. That watermelon one right there is Ronnie's, okay? See that? This green tea one is the one that I like. So that's what I got. And look. How bomb does this look? Let me show you around this. This one right here is Ronnie's. He didn't want lettuce and tomatoes and stuff in his, but look at that. Still good. So yeah, y'all, yeah, they both came out really good. My mouth is watering. Oh my gosh. Let's put it together. It's gonna be messy. It's, it's gonna be messy. Look. Let's see. Whoa. <gasps> look at that. Oh my gosh. All right, y'all. So this was my chopped cheese video. Don't forget to give me a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Don't forget to do you, boo. Bye, guys. Oh, my gosh, you guys. So, so, so good. Hmm. Whoa, don't slip up or get caught. Why not, man? I'm coming.